Are your dead hangs not giving you the results you expect? Dead hangs, a simple yet powerful exercise, can do wonders for your grip strength, shoulder mobility, and overall body control. But like any fitness regimen, sometimes the results aren't as expected. You might be hanging there, wondering why the benefits aren't rolling in. Well, don't sweat it. We're here to explore five possible reasons your dead hangs might be falling short. Stay tuned as we delve into the reasons why your dead hangs may not be working for you. Firstly, your form might be all wrong. The form is the foundation of any exercise and dead hangs are no exception. When you maintain the correct form during a dead hang, you're not just hanging around. You're aligning your body in a way that optimizes strength, stability, and endurance. Now imagine if that form is incorrect. Your body is out of alignment and you're not engaging the right muscles. This doesn't just make your dead hangs ineffective. It can also put unnecessary strain on your joints, leading to potential injuries. The correct form for a dead hang involves keeping your arms fully extended, your body straight and your shoulders relaxed. It's not about swinging or using momentum. It's about stability and controlled strength. An incorrect form is a common pitfall that can quickly derail your progress and rob you of the benefits of dead hangs. So remember, form is key when it comes to dead hangs. Secondly, consistency is crucial. Just as in any other fitness journey, the key to reaping the benefits of dead hangs lies in regular and consistent practice. It's not enough to do it once in a blue moon and expect miracles. Imagine trying to learn a new language. If you study once a week, it's going to take you a pretty long time to become fluent, if you ever do. The same principle applies to dead hangs. Your body needs to adapt to the strain and stress that comes with this exercise, and that adaptation comes from consistent practice. Now, we're not saying you should be doing dead hangs every single day. Rest is essential too. But a consistent, regular routine tailored to your ability and goals is the key. If you're inconsistent, your body never gets a chance to adapt and progress, and that's when you hit a plateau. Consistency, therefore, is non-negotiable if you want to see results. Thirdly, you might not be engaging the right muscles. When performing dead hangs, it's essential to activate specific muscles to maximize effectiveness. These include the latissimus dorsi, your broadest back muscle, and the brachialis, a muscle in your upper arm that works in tandem with your biceps. Your forearms, particularly the flexor digitorum profundus and superficialis, are also crucial as they help you maintain a firm grip on the bar. Failing to engage these muscles can lead to ineffective results. You might find yourself struggling to hang for more than a few seconds. Or, you could experience unnecessary strain in other areas, like your shoulders or wrists. It's like trying to drive a car without touching the steering wheel. You're not going to get very far and you're likely to cause some damage along the way. Engaging the right muscles is, therefore, vital to get the most out of your dead hangs. Fourthly, a lack of progression can be a major setback. Now, when we talk about progression, we're discussing the process of gradually increasing the intensity and time of your dead hangs. This is critical for stimulating your muscles and fostering continuous improvement. Think of it as climbing a mountain. You don't ascend to the top in a single leap, do you? No, you take it one step at a time, gradually increasing your altitude until you reach the summit. In the same way, your dead hangs should evolve over time. If you stick to the same routine, the same intensity, the same duration, you're likely to hit a plateau in your results. Your body needs new challenges to continue growing and adapting. Progression then is crucial for continuous improvement in your dead hangs. Lastly, focusing solely on dead hangs and ignoring other workout components can limit your results. A balanced fitness regimen is like a well-tuned orchestra. Every instrument, or in this case, exercise, plays a crucial role in creating a harmonious symphony of health. Dead hangs, while excellent for grip strength and shoulder mobility, are just one part of that symphony. If you're spending all your time hanging from a bar, you could be neglecting other essential areas like cardiovascular health, leg strength, or core stability. It's important to diversify your routine with a mix of strength training, cardio, and flexibility exercises to ensure all muscle groups are getting the attention they deserve. This way, you're not just improving in one area, but growing stronger and more agile in every aspect. 
Remember, a well-rounded workout routine is essential for overall fitness and progress. To sum it up, we've explored the five common pitfalls that could be hindering your progress with dead hangs. These include the incorrect form, inconsistency in practice, not engaging the correct muscles, lack of progression, and ignoring other workout components. By addressing these areas and making the necessary adjustments, you can maximize the benefits of your dead hangs and achieve the results you're after. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe for more fitness tips.